Hello, my name is Brennan McBee from Northside High School, and my project is the effects of various lipase enzymes on vegetable oils decomposition. Before I talk about my project, I would first like to explain what a lipase is. It is an enzyme that specializes in the decomposition of fats or oils. As for my actual project, it was on how seeing, if I mixed various lipases into vegetable oil, how that would affect the amount of vegetable oils that decompose after a certain amount of time. This idea originally came about as seeing how if I were to mix various stimuli in with petroleum oil, how that would affect the amount of petroleum oil that would decay. This eventually became about the effect of various stimuli on the decomposition of petroleum oil. But this eventually became about vegetable oil as it decomposes easier. It was also decided to use lipase enzymes as they specified on oils. Many times after stovetop or deep fryer cooking, there will be leftover vegetable oil to dispose of. This is not good to pour down a drain as it may clog it, and people may not want to pour it outside as that may leave oily ground. Therefore, in this project, a better method of disposing of this waste was found. The hypothesis for my experiment was that if the enzyme stepsin was added to the vegetable oil, then the oil would decompose more than it would with any other enzyme over the same amount of time. The materials that I used in my experiment included various articles of safety clothing, such as safety glasses or a dust mask. It also included the various parts that went into my mixture, including water, soybean vegetable oil, dish soap, and the various enzymes, which could include calf lipase, lamb lipase, or a lipase called stepsin. I also used a glass graduated cylinder, a sealable container that I used to hold my mixture, a timer, a funnel, and various parts that went into insulating my mixtures while they decomposed the oil. The first step of the actual experiment was to mix together the water, vegetable oil, dish soap, and the enzyme. Next, the mixtures were shaken around for about four minutes to get them to mix together, though more time was added for the steps and runs as they needed more time to mix. Next, they're put into this insulation box and let sit for around three days and 19 hours. During that time, I monitored the, the temperature of that box and adding blanks as was needed to maintain that temperature. After this time, the mixtures were taken out of the box and let sit for 10 minutes, then I poured them into the graduated cylinder. Then I waited for the various layers to form, and then I measured how many milliliters were in each of those layers. The result of this experiment was that the lamb lipase was most effective. It was then followed by the stepsin, the control, and finally the calf lipase. There were two points of notice about this project. One of these is that before the final results, an original experiment was run, but it was decided to be redone due to having leaky containers to having only two trials. The second point is that during the redone experiment, there was originally a third trial, but it was eventually decided to be omitted from the results, as there were multiple spills during the recording. As for the issues that occurred during the final experiment, one of which was that the mixtures kept spilling while pouring them into the graduate cylinder. Another was that bubbles kept forming on top of the top layer in the graduate cylinder, which may have caused it to be hard to read how tall that layer actually was. In conclusion, my hypothesis was wrong, as stepsin was not the most effective of lipase. Also, there may have been problems which caused my results to be false, but assuming that they were all correct, it showed that lamb lipase was the best enzyme for decomposing vegetable oil.